This video demonstrates the procedures used to determine the moisture content of soils in the field with the use of a calcium carbide gas pressure moisture tester, also called the speedy moisture tester. Place the box on a level surface. With the use of a bubble type level, make sure the box is level. Remove the contents of the kit and set the balance beam scale in an upright position. In order for the test to be accurate, the calcium carbide reagent must be fresh. The shelf life is limited, so the date on the can should be checked to ensure the manufacturer's recommendations are met. Place the soil to be tested in the pan of the balance beam scale until the correct amount is present. The correct amount of material is determined when the red markings on the balance and beam coincide. Place the two steel balls inside the body of the tester and add the soil sample that has been weighed out. The next step in the speedy moisture test is to add the necessary amount of reagent. It is important to keep the reagent separate from the soil sample. Once the two are combined, a chemical reaction starts. The cap of the speedy moisture tester is inverted and placed on the end of the tester. Using the metal scoop, place a minimum of three full scoops of reagent into the cap. Make sure the cover of the reagent is immediately placed back on the container and securely tightened. Holding the speedy moisture tester in a horizontal position, place the cover on the end. Bring the stirrup in position and tighten the top screw to seal the tester. Shake with a rotating motion to put the steel balls into orbit around the inside circumference of the tester. Rotate the speedy moisture tester for 10 seconds and rest for 20 seconds. The shaking and resting process allows the reagent to react to the moisture in the soil. This process mixes the soil and reagent together and breaks the soil down and completely dries the soil sample. The moisture reagent mixture creates the pressure that is registered on the gauge indicating the moisture percent. Continue this cycle of shaking and resting for at least three minutes. Check the gauge reading after each cycle to see if there is an increase in the dial reading. When the needle stops moving, hold the instrument at eye level with the dial facing you. Read and record the dial reading to the nearest one-tenth of a percent. At the completion of the test, the moisture tester needs to be opened carefully. Locate the arrow on the flange or lip of the cap and point this downwind and away from you. Remove the top screw slowly to vent the gas. Empty the speedy moisture tester and recover the two steel balls. Also examine the contents for lumps. If the material contains lumps, the test should be repeated.